Welcome back to another quick tip. In this video, we're going to check out Keyshot's lighting presets, compare their differences, and learn how to choose which setting is best for your scene. The lighting presets are located in the lighting tab of the project panel. There are five total, plus a custom preset that will automatically be enabled if you make adjustments to any of these. Custom is also where you can create and save your own lighting presets. First on the list is performance mode. This preset strips your scene of most of these settings, leaving you without a lot of detail, but that's why this preset is ideal for faster performance. Next is basic. This is the default lighting preset. It's a step above performance mode in terms of realism with those ray bounces and self shadows enabled. This preset is a great place to start, especially if you need a quick turnaround with a decent level of realism. The next three presets, product, interior, and jewelry, are generally the most used for photorealistic renderings. Each of these will increase the amount of ray bounces and toggle additional settings such as caustics for enhanced image quality. With product enabled, light will be more directly focused on the subject of your scene, whereas interior spreads more light throughout the environment and can handle more complex indirect illumination. Jewelry uses the full power of Keyshot to light your scene. It's the most intensive preset with the highest number of ray bounces, shadow quality, and caustics. This setting will make your renderings look awesome, but just be aware of longer render times with this one enabled. Let's quickly look at some direct comparisons between these lighting presets. The first is basic. Take note of those highlights and shadows and the way the glass is reflecting, and let's compare that to product. They look fairly similar, but the quality in shadows and highlights has increased slightly. This third image uses the interior preset, and you can see a definite improvement here with how that glass is rendered out compared to product and basic. And lastly, jewelry, where you can clearly tell that overall, this is a big jump from the basic preset. The lighting feels much more natural and balanced, and with those caustics enabled, we're getting the more realistic representation of light passing through glass, particularly in this area right here. Now just remember, choosing a lighting preset is entirely dependent on your scene, hardware, and end goal. There isn't a perfect preset either, and sometimes you'll need to adjust these settings. The best way to figure out what works is just to dive in and experiment for yourself. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content, leave a comment below with your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.